nice. Ugh. Need a break. Uh -huh. Alright, so what we are doing today. Today's Wednesday, June 6th, I think. And yesterday we took a day off, took a break. We went fishing. Who caught the fish? Babe. Who? We're not gonna talk about it. Who caught the fish? <laughs> Not me. No? <laughs> Not the queen fisherman? The one that's been bragging for a year? <laughs> Not this time. It was me. But it was about the size of my hand. <laughs> so it wasn't much. I claim it's the only fish that was in the lake. Do I need a new one? Yeah, might as well. I'll grab it. Take a break. Uh, Tell them what we're doing here. Um, uh, sanding wood for the windows. Right, babe? What windows? The caboose windows. The caboose windows. Was that a hunter? Or... I have no idea. That's a hunter. It's pretty. Let's stick with that. <laughs> um. What time is it? Yeah. Why are we young and we just started? <laughs> it's tiring sanding. Okay, so we are, these are all uh, 30 and a half and 30 and three quarters length two by sixes, which are five and a half inches wide. We lucked out so awesome on two things. One, the caboose windows are exactly 22 inches. Four five and a half are exactly 22 inches. So it's gonna be snug. If anything, it may have to trim off the end if it's too snug, if the metal's warped in different areas of the window, if it's not perfect, so. But we'll figure that out when that time comes. But the other thing we lucked out with is these eight by uh, eight foot boards, which actually I don't know if it's true eight foot, but they are, almost exactly can get three of the uh, 30 and three quarters boards out of it and only have to trim off a blade width eighth at the end. So we did not have any waste on these boards, which is fantastic. soft it's just two by sixes very soft and easy to drill into at least if you have a sharp drill bit probably gonna have to get a new one eventually we've been using this a lot With you. I came up with this a couple days ago. So, you know, we'll show a video. Still catching up on videos and everything, but you'll see it by the time you see this that we built a, Janae and I made a minecart. And when, well, we have like five more 
like 30 foot track still, real railroad track, sitting out there trying to figure out what to do with it. It's gonna be in the way by the time we get back there. So we either need to put to use or remove it somewhere. Um, an idea is to use two, maybe four, maybe make it longer and create more mine carts and put on these tracks and maybe make the mine cart a little bit bigger than that little one we did. And in doing so, if we have this courtyard type of field behind the caboose and the box car, that we could put tables on these mine carts and then put them on the track and kind of make them, you know, where you can have them separate and if the if you have a larger party, move them together, connect them, whatever. Um, that way you kind of connect these mine carts together. But they're tables and the table tops can lift off. And I was thinking even going to the next level of putting propane tank inside each one with a, uh, a metal like fire trough, like propane. Um, and that way the ambiance of the fire, the lighting off the table, in the background and they could easily move you know you don't have to disconnect anything no power to them nothing like that so it's an idea um might utilize our track but what that means is we gotta install more track Janine's tired of the track and we've done what three full tracks now three full sections and the little mine cart which was a uh, the mine shaft wasn't too big, too long. So anyway, I'm tired of track. It's gonna get the best of us, but it would look cool. All right. About 30, maybe 40 minutes later, got to all of these boards with the dowel cuts. there's a warp or the window not perfect straight may have to sand or cut off just a sliver of the end. All right so this is set up for three quarter off one side split down the middle. So this plate's is even higher this time so careful okay. So we've already been working for most of the day and we didn't film any today, but it is, what did it say, Thursday, June 7th, I think? 8th. Say the 8th already? Maybe I was wrong yesterday. I did forget my age today. <laughs> I'm gonna be 49 soon. And I thought I was turning 48, so I just lost a year today, so. Depressing. It was Janae's fault. Sorry, babe. Um, all right, so we cut all these tr these boards. So first thing is, is I took off early this morning. Went to Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart. Got some stuff done. Uh, Janae's parents are up here and they joined her to come down here and do a little sanding for us. So they're so you excited about our project. And I so did sanding and painting. Oh sanding and painting. I did a lot. So they seem excited about our project and they wanted to help a little bit. So it was nice of them. Alright right now we did these are some of the boards we bought today. These one by fours. And uh 
These are going to go inside the, the window frames. And we already got some outside um, meat and stain. This is the back of it we're doing first. And then we beat up the front of it a little bit. So. Yep, and then uh, Janae and her dad also put this together. That's the last one of the solid window frames, I guess, lack of a better word. Little window inserts. Um, and they painted more primer of all these boards. So we got, we got a nice start for the next um, side of the caboose to do. So that's good. Yeah. And then we got some more boards. We got um, two by sixes, two by fours, two by threes, one by threes, one by fours. And we got four of these four by sixes. So in the middle of the night, as I do often, I woke up and kind of visualized a little change to the fireplace for the caboose. So with that idea, I like it better and I feel better about it. And so we're going to go with four by sixes instead of the six by six look. So I think that's going to work plenty and work good for us. Huh, Janae? We're tired. All right, so these are the other four inserts for the window frames. The ones without the glass. And then we have more, so we gotta do another coat on all this. All right. Back at it. We had a busy couple days. It's Sunday, June, what, 11th, 10th? I don't know. All right, um, back at it. We had a couple days off. Uh, saw a few friends up here. One stayed the night. Another one's uh, camping. So it was nice to meet the, his family and friends. And, and then, of course, our long-term friend uh, stayed the night with his son. So it was good times. Um, and then local friends playing a band and um, at least a band they put together with some friends uh, and played in town a couple nights. We went to one of them last night and that was fun. So always meeting new people up here. So it's fun, especially during the summer, it's a lot busier. So you meet a lot of new people that only been up here, usually seasonal. Um, but it is Sunday, but we took our two days off already. So we are going to work on a Sunday because when we're up here doing this project, every day is Saturday to us. So it's uh can work or not work. So we're working, right? All right, so the goal today. So today is gonna be about 70, low 70s. Tomorrow, low 70s. And then we start getting to 80s. And um, the caboose gets really warm, even though it's 80s outside, which isn't terrible, but in here it does get warm. And we had that, I think the last time when we did installation, it was pretty warm. But we got a nice wind going on all day long today. And so we've got this nice fresh air just kind of blowing through one, one side of this uh, caboose door and blowing all out to the other side. So that breeze makes it really nice. We decided we're just gonna do this installation because um, it's easier to wear the long sleeve or nicer to wear long sleeve, not easier. Um, just because the stuff we got is like a wool type of thing, I guess. Um, but it's not as itchy as fiberglass, but it's still, if you get on it, you can feel a little bit of it. So, so yeah, wearing long sleeves on a hot day is not fun, so we're gonna do it today. All right, and then, as you know, we did start on the windows. Uh, all those boards are stained, ready to go, but again, we're, we'll do that after it gets warmer. Was it folded? Is it different? I don't know. I don't know. Come oh, you opened it from the side, I think. Oh, that's not why I don't like Alright, so we're going to do installation on this wall. We're going to try to get most of it done today. We should be able to get it done today. A um, little bit of late start this morning, but we should be able to get it done today.
All right, so we got 20, 30 minutes. Already got up to here. We're gonna be done here soon. We're gonna have more bags, but we gotta do the ceiling cupola. So we may. We have two more, so we'll open one more. And then we yeah, have the sides too. And then I guess I'm gonna start cutting those, right? The wood. Well, don't we want to put the plastic up? I gotta cut more wood. We have to put the plastic up, babe. You got your hair done. You dyed your hair. Yeah, it was looking a little gray. Gray hair. Babe, don't say it out loud. <sighs> Cute. Insulation is done almost. Not too bad. Maybe what? Maybe an hour. And if we went fast, we would probably have it done all in a half hour. But we took our time. Every single cut, we had to measure almost every single. So, all right. So we got a couple areas that we need to fill with board still. I skipped that one with the timing above the windows. We didn't do this side above the windows and we, once we put the boards up, it would have been nice to have studs in there to go to. So, so we're putting them in this time. And then we gotta do these crazy corners, which I don't look forward to. done with insulation this corner is both all four corners are terrible to work with they're not you know, the support iron and stuff so the steel anyway we uh got all the insulation we did finish all the wood we had three pockets that need to get finished with the wood and then we had to do all those corners with weird shapes and all so it is done, covered up the vent hole for right now, but we're gonna actually pull that out. Um, that's where the air conditioner thing's gonna go. But we'll pull it out later. I thought maybe, uh, might help keep this cooler with the insulation in here a little bit, at least in the start of the morning. Or warmer in the winter. Warmer in the winter. Cool. combination to the lock that we cut off. Maybe. To not like move. The fish 
official Fifteen, two thousand sixteen. Snowflower, five seven Ranger suit, two thousand fifteen. I'll bet you this is like one of those treasure hunt things that we put it in and they hide it somewhere. And if you have your GPS, it'll take you straight to it as a way to. So that's pretty cool. We'll do some research on it. Maybe we just leave it back there in case something. <laughs> but 2015 16, that was about when those things were really popular with the online scavenger hunt kind of thing. I don't know much about it. 